Across the country, fans are mourning the loss today of Robin Williams. The 63-year-old comedian died Monday in an apparent suicide. His death highlights an alarming trend of rising suicides among baby boomers. For more on that, we're joined now by Beth Israel Medical Center's Associate Chairman of Psychiatry, Dr. Igor Gallenker. Doctor, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, I didn't really realize this until we, until we started digging into some of the CDC data, but in a recent report, they noted a 30% increase in suicides among people between the ages of 35 and 64. That's in the last couple of years. Why are we seeing this spike? Um, well, um, people associate the spike with uh, baby boomers, but it's simplistic. Um, baby boomers are an interesting generation. The expectations were very high. Uh, and uh, it was a generation where all the possibilities were there, the world was wide open. And uh, here, uh, 50 years later, they find themselves, uh, I would say the majority of them do not find themselves in, in one percenters. So we're also saw, we saw with Robin Williams that apparently he died mm -hmm. of asphyxiation, it appears yeah. to be a suicide. Apparently suffocation is also becoming an increasingly prevalent way that people are using to commit suicide. What does that say to you? How alarming is that? Um, well, suicide is always al alarming. Uh, there are more lethal ways of killing yourselves than, um, than uh, um, as as asphyxiation. People can jump off buildings, people shoot themselves. In terms of less violent ways of killing yourself, uh, suffocation is probably the more violent one. Um, it's certainly more uh, successful than uh, overdose or cutting your veins, for Now, instance. we were talking about this a little mm. bit earlier. Robin Williams, you know, on the outside appeared to have a pretty charmed life, but he said in the past mm. he's struggled with drugs, he's struggled with alcohol. A rep said he was, you know, currently struggling with depression. So how do you find that point between things you've been struggling with your whole life versus that thing that tips you over the edge? What signs are you guys looking for? Mm. Suicide is not a rational act. Uh, suicide, suicide is not a thought. People can think about suicide for a long time and do nothing. Suicide is an urge. And what happens uh, before suicide, um, people um, come into this acute suicidal state, which is a combination of panic, depression, frantic hopelessness, and what we call ruminative flooding. And there's an urge uh, to get rid of the pain. And this is what does it. So um, there is acute suicidal state that uh, we really have not been aware of until very recently. And hopefully with more research, we'll figure out when one transitions from just being uh, suicidal, chronically suicidal, and having just thoughts to being ready to act. So if you're a person who has had these thoughts, baby boomer or mm -hmm. otherwise, what do you need to do next? What kind of treatment do you need to seek? And how effective is that treatment? Because like you said, a lot of these people feel like they're in so much pain, they can never get out of it. Um, the uh, suicide, um, Robin Williams was depressed and was severely depressed. Uh, and the best way to treat suicide is, or prevent suicide, is to treat underlying depression. Uh, but there are also other aspects of uh, suicide that can be addressed. For instance, uh, people in suicide tend to be fearful and panicking. Panic and anxiety needs to be treated. People who are suicidal lose the sense of belongingness uh, and feel like they're burdensome to people that are surround them. And that needs to be addressed. The sense of connection. Uh, the sense of hopelessness. And most importantly, probably the single most important factor is that the person who is about to kill themselves feels like they're trapped. They're trapped in a situation that uh, leaves them no exit but to end it all. And the most important uh, treatment that a therapist can provide or anybody around them uh, is to uh, help them uh, to open the door out of the trap, to give them some hope, to offer a solution. All right, and I think we do have the suicide hotline number there to pull up. If you are having these suicidal thoughts, we would, of course, encourage you to seek help immediately. Doctor, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.